When you reach the century mark, it is safe to say you've experienced, seen, and lived through a lot. But in his latest I Have a Story, Greg McQuaid and photographer Curtis Akers introduce us to a Dinwiddie woman who is still curious and who proves it's never too late to learn something new. Perched on her porch, Ruth Thompson. <laughs> yep, yep. Watches, well, not much. <laughs> not a lot of world comes by here. <laughs> She has lived in her Dinwiddie home since 1987. Not many days that I don't sit down and play something. Miss Ruth possesses talent. Yeah, I play in church, so I have to practice. And tenacity. And I taught myself to play. She's learned and lived through a lot since birth. April the 26th, 1920. Do the math. That would make Ruth Thompson 101 now. Miss Ruth is so mature, she even remembers Herbert Hoover in the White House. I remember the crash, the stock market crash. The youngest of six siblings, the New Jersey-born Ruth, can still hear the family's first radio. The night that we listened to the radio when Roosevelt was elected the first time. Technology. Yes, yeah, the ones I love. <laughs> Certainly has evolved in Ruth's home. I can entertain myself for hours. But one thing remains constant, her insatiable thirst for knowledge. Look up stuff all the time. Me and, me and Google on first name basis. <laughs> on this day, she's studying the Federalist Papers. Of these founders of our country, can never be duplicated. Ruth's learning. Oh, I get out every day. Is not relegated to the information superhighway. Hardly a day passes that I don't get out. Every Thursday morning, Ruth rides. Ruth, did you do your homework? Don't no. Not to the library or adult daycare center. She hurries to take her seat. Well, good morning. Happy Thursday to you all. How are you all doing today? Ruth does not want to be late for class. How many of you have started on it already? Not as a guest lecturer. Ruth Thompson is enrolled at Richard Bland College at William & Mary. The second item that the Constitution does, it helps to allocate government powers. Where she is a student in Dr. Adam Zucconi's American government class. I want to understand you know, why we're here. Uh, how America came about. Her classmates? more than 80 years, her junior. I'm not trying to stay young. I'm just enjoying every day that I have. Miss Ruth has been taking college courses on and off for about seven years. The nation, I mean, their nation was founded, we typically say 1789, as we're going over today in class with the Federalist Papers, and she's been alive essentially for more than a third of it. Professor Zucconi says Ruth is a model student who could probably substitute teach 101 years old, she's still learning. I remember when she was a spry 97 years old in my first class, and she still displayed that same intellectual curiosity. You have no idea how many older people that I have tried to encourage to come back to school. Ruth Thompson, an undergrad whose major is living. I've been very blessed. I've been extremely blessed. At her pace, the centenarian student doesn't expect to earn a diploma. I'm enjoying learning. It's one thing I've always enjoyed doing. But this true senior on campus is already earning an A for effort. Have a great weekend, everyone. Please be safe. Great work again today, everyone. I can't imagine anybody being well and not wanting to enjoy life as much as possible.